guy has been sailing in Charleston area all of his life. He's been fully engaged in Cora, in sailing, in every aspect. He's been working all the race equipment that you guys use on all these courses. He stores it, logs it, documents it, delivers it, picks it up, wears them out every year. He's providing fresh and clean drinking water for people all around the world in desperate need of it. Throughout his adult life, he's been involved in the Rotary Foreign Student Exchange. He's had more kids to come and stay at his house while they went to school here from foreign countries. They still come back to visit him. They still call him daddy. He still got to go to their weddings in foreign countries. He goes there to visit them, spends time with them. The guy seems like a big old bear, but he's as soft a guy as you ever want to meet. He'll cry more than I'll cry. I got to see a few tears for this guy tonight. I've been racing against him for the last 10 years. We are competitive in every aspect. He pulls for Vikings, I pull for Packers. <laughs> Anything you can think of, we compete in it. Not only does he do all these things, in his spare time, he actually doubles as Spider-Man. You may have seen him this week. I can't keep up with this guy anymore. He is my friend. He is my hero. Jake, look. Cook, Tohito, a fixture at Charleston Race Week, and a guy that just never stops working for Charleston Race Week. How was the racing out there today, Jay? It was great. Yeah. We, we had the best wind of all today. So, yeah, yeah we had a great time. We had a uh, tough fight at the finish with another boat, lasted 30 minutes, and that made it real exciting. It was a long ride back in against that tide, huh? Yeah, it was. They picked a, a hell of a weekend to send you in. <laughs> yeah, the current was a big player, no doubt. How'd you end up? Um, middle of the pack. Middle of the pack? Yeah. All right. But you got a you got a real win here, which uh, you got your boys here. Yeah, I sure do. Adam, and yeah. Travis, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this the first time you've sailed with these boys, and how long? It's the first time I've had both boys together on the boat in probably five or six years. That's amazing. When we talk about Charleston Race Week, it's become this big regatta. It's tough. It's competitive. And all these pros here and all these fleets. But there's a lot of family programs out here too. What does that mean for for, for you guys to race with your family? Well, you know, I've been, I'm, I'm a local, so I've been around race week for a long time. And I'm a middle of the pack kind of guy. <laughs> I did I did win my class in 2006, but, you know, I'm a middle of the pack guy. But to have my friends and family and uh, for this weekend was really special. I'll tell you what, and Jay, you know, you had some bad news. Yeah. Last week. And, uh, uh, no, actually, it's been about six weeks ago. Six yeah. weeks? Yeah. And uh, uh, you've uh, been diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, I've got cancer. I've been going to radiation five days a week. I've been uh, doing chemotherapy, all those kind of things. I, I had uh, one of my personal goals that I set for myself was to do race week. I had a little concern because of the fatigue and other things that I'd be strong enough. A dear friend of mine came along to drive in case I couldn't, but I was able to drive the whole regatta. That, that's cool. That's amazing. You got to have your boys here for it too. Yeah. Some people might say, well, you're doing chemotherapy. You're crazy to uh, to go racing. What do you say to that? <laughs> uh, it'd be foul language. <laughs> it'd be foul language. What does sailing mean to, to your life? It's my um, inner peace, my spiritual harmony. It's my God place when I'm out in the ocean. I especially like doing the ocean and and I've been fortunate enough to do the Bermuda race and race Bahamas and um, my right after or right before I was diagnosed my wife and I sailed around Polynesia together for a while and so um, sailing is is a good place for me. This is love for the sport right here guys. Yep. Thank you for that. What does it mean that your dad uh, brought you up in this sport and taught you how to sail and did this stuff with you? Just glad to be here this weekend. It's hard living away. But just glad to be back. Well, it's a great story, Jay, and I'll tell you what, you and me have a date 
12 months, right in the same spot. Yeah. Do another interview. That's right. I mean, you might be a couple pounds lighter, but I think uh, I think we're gonna do it. Um, you could use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a sissy. I'll be here. I love you, brother. I love you too. We'll see you soon. All right.